The Freedom Riders are just caring, compassionate. They allow me to get in front of the right people so I can share my story and make a difference. My name is Michael Bongiorno. I'm operations manager at a treatment center. I have passion and purpose, and I am a freedom rider. I was an overweight, long-haired, fear-stricken child, and I was having a lot of uh, disciplinary issues at my school at a young age. I first took my first sip of alcohol at probably 11 or 12 years old. I was very, very young. I had lost my house where I grew up in into a large fire. It was a mountain fire that came in and destroyed our house. And I didn't really understand what was going on. I was scared. And so I was just kind of this in this state of just limbo. Where do I go? And the only thing I had was alcohol to medicate these feelings and to, and to push them down. And so it started escalating from there. At however old I was, 15 years old, you know, drinking a 12 pack of uh, beer a day was, was the normal for me. That's the only thing I could think about was getting out of school and drinking or leaving school and drinking. I didn't have any, uh, anybody in my life to say, hey, there's other things you can do too to make you feel good besides drinking. It was very dark and it just kind of turned me into a very, very, very fear-stricken, angry person. And so that had evolved into the person that had stepped into Miss Gruel's class. Miss Gruel showed me at that time that writing could really set me free and it made me feel great. It was taking all my anger and all my fear and letting it pulsate out into brighter things. Miss Gruel got me through that school. She really did. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have made it. I mean, I was going down a path of bad choices my entire life. But it wasn't until after I had graduated that I realized that I'm going to do the exact 180 on this. So no alcohol, no cigarette smoke, no unhealthy foods, exercise. And I just got addicted to that stuff. And it wasn't enough. I kept picking up other hobbies. I started speaking and selling and creating and socializing. And I started feeding myself all these things without the negative and I became a force. Created my own power bar company. I bought steaks in another one, did extremely well. Had a great relationship, met a girl that changed my life. And I realized that I have passion and purpose and I want to embrace that. So four years ago, I decided that I'm going to do what I'm really good at. And that's helping people that struggle with addiction. People trusted me because I came from their same, their same point. And now I'm operations manager at a treatment center and that's changing lives. It's the best of all worlds. I have my passion and purpose at my job where I change lives and suffering with addiction. And then I have the Freedom Riders where I can go reach youth and stop them from getting addicted, right? Help them. If we can evoke your passion at a young age, you will lead miracles with that energy and then clarity will come. Once the clarity comes, you have vision, you have purpose, and you're a leader, you'll be unstoppable.